sa mundong ito. Dalawa, may mga taong namumuhay in a different way of life. Sa iba-ibang klaseng, uh, iba-ibang klaseng uri ng pamumuhay. Like, like patterns of social relation. Ang ibig sabihin, tinutularan natin ang panlipo ng relasyon. Kung anong nakikita natin sa social media, yun ang ginagaya natin. Kung anong nakikita natin sa sa TV o sa panonood nyo, kung ano man ang uh, uri ng uh, media na yan, ginagaya natin yan. Like in, in entertainment, no? Gusto yun natin maaliw o malibang. Maaari ang nakakarandam kayo ng pagkaboring sa buhay nyo. Nanunod kayo ng mga Korean na uh, mga soap opera. Eh, ayaw niyong kalimutan niyang paborito niyong uh, artista na Koreano, si Ching Chan Su. <laughs> ba- bakit? Uh, si Ch- Di ba lagi niyo sinusundan niya, si Ching Chan Su? <laughs> at, 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 <laughs> at, gamit, at, at gamit ng ating cellphone na walang tigil sa ka-scroll. Meron na, kayo, meron na kayong gout sa daliri, daliri ninyo. Ayaw nyo pag tumigil. Dahil nabobod kayo sa buhay nyo. Yung, yung uri ng ating pananamit, the way we dress, nakikita rin natin yan. Sa ibang tao, sa media, ano, kung maiksi ang damit, mas maiksi pang gusto mo. Kung mahabang damit, mas mahaba pang gusto mo. Yun ay nakiki, nakukuha natin yan sa, sa, sa lipunan. Kung ano ang nakikita natin, yan ang ginagaya. Pero pang, pang, uh, mga kapatid, kung ano nakikita natin, ang gayahin nyo, yung mga kakabuti sa atin. Ah, di ba? It also reflects the individual attitude. Yung sa loobin ba natin? Yung ating uh, value of, yung your values or worldview, halaga o pananaw mo sa mundong ito. Kung anong pananaw mo, kung anong palagay mo. Yan ay ang uh, klase ng uh, pamumuhay mo. Your lifestyle. Uri ng pamumuhay. Your lifestyle, no? It is the physical, no? Lifestyle is a physical, psychological, social. Interest, opinion, and behavior of a certain individual. Tayo, or a group. na influence tayo sa grupo natin, or a community. Like this. This is how we live in our life. A family lifestyle is the way that families live together on a daily basis. A habit and a pattern that these people have. Yung, yung lifestyle natin, nakukuha natin yan. Kung anong kinagis na natin, kung ano ang... Uh, ang uh, kagawian natin, yan ay namamana yan. Nakikita ng anak mo kung anong ginagawa mo. Asahan mo, yun din ang gagawin niya. Nanonood ka ng TV, wala kang ginagawa. Asahan mo, katabi mo yung anak mo. At ganun din ginagawa. Kaya, <clears throat> it is a part of the family unit. <clears throat> Their lifestyle can be healthy or unhealthy. And this does not refer to physical health. Hindi lang sa physical health natin. But mental health as well. Naapektuhan ang ating kaisipan. To be in a healthy lifestyle, you must have a healthy, balanced diet. Oh, Ang healthy, balanced diet ang ibig sabihin, eh, hindi naman puro lechon ang kinakain mo araw-araw. O linggo-linggo. Meron ba dito yan sa Gia? Mahilig sa litsyon? Wala dito yan. Eh? Wala, ano? <laughs> Wala. At saka, kumain naman tayo ng gulay. Kumain tayo ng, uh, uh, ng uh, tawag dito ng uh, iba-ibang klaseng pagkain para maging balanse ang ating katawan, ang diet natin. Drinks, drinking, drinking lots of water. Ang ibig sabihin lots of water, hindi naman yung may kulay. Ang iba sa inyo, iba sa atin, kagaya ko rin, umiinom ng may kulay. 
At may nakita pa nga ako eh. Tinatago pa nga sa bag eh. Pag may na- wala nakakita eh. Uh, kasi papansinin. Uh, lalo, la- 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 hindi kasi makatiis. Kailangan may reserva pa. Meron pa nga iba, nasa loob ng bag. Yung mga chocolate. Yung mga ano, tinatago yan. Dahil kung minsan eh, hindi na rin makatiis. Kailangan, plenty of water ang iinumin natin. Pangalo, pangatlo, yung exercise regularly. Hindi ka, hindi, exercise talaga. Walking, uh, sometimes uh, jogging, hindi exercise sa higaan. No? Madalas tayo nag-exercise sa higaan, itinataas na natin dalawang pa at tapos na. Plenty of sleep. Huwag kayong magpupuyat. Sa kapapanood ng mga telenovela na yan, ano, hindi, hindi mo, hindi mo maiwasan. Hindi mo kayang uh, putulin kasi maganda eh. Tatapusin mo. Eh, bine, eh napanood mo yun eh. Ano ba yan? Uh, six episodes eh. Tinapos mo sa isang araw. Inabot ka ng mga madaling araw. Ano? Pang, 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 pang lima, dapat hindi tayo naninigaryo. No, no smoking. Masama sa katawan niya. And keep on mental, physical, and spiritual health. Health. Quality, quality time with yourself. Kailangan naman, meron kang, uh, meron ka naman time para sa sarili mo. No? Hindi na lang eh, para ka ganito, para ka ganito. Kawar. Kailan bigyan mo naman ng quality time sa sarili mo. Break free from social pressure and tap into your own thoughts, feelings, and experiences. Stop thinking what others might think. No? Kasi meron tayo, ano, lalapit. Pastor, pastor, bakit? Eh, galit ako doon sa dalawang yan. Eh. Bakit ka naman galit? Ito yung nalang titingnan ko. Ako lagi ang pinag-uusapan. Hindi ko gusto niya, galit ako. Bakit naman nalaman mo na na ikaw ang pinag-uusapan? Eh, kasi titingnan ko, nakatingin sila sa akin. Eh. Ako pinag-uusapan. Sigurado ka ba nakatingin sa'yo? Oo. Eh, yung tingnan ko naman eh. Hindi eh, naman ikaw pinag-uusapan eh. Eh, ako po ang pinag-usapan. Hindi ikaw. Bakit po, Pastor? Eh, kasi naman eh, sa liwa mga mata ng dalawa eh, hindi naman sa'yo nakatingin. <laughs> Kaya, yan ang, ta- ang pagganyan ng iniisip mo, ang tawag yan ay social anxiety disorder. is an intense, persistent fear and being watched and judged by others. Learn how to say no. Dapat matuto ka rin magsalita o sumagot ng no. Letting others know what is okay doesn't make you a bad person. It makes you a strong and respectable person. Nagaya na na, uh, Pastor, Pastor, ba, gusto ko na mag-asawa. Sabi, sabi, sabi ko, hindi pwede. Bakit naman hindi pwede, Pastor? Eh, gusto ko mag-asawa. Hindi ka pwede mag-asawa. Bakit po? Unang-una, 12 years old ka lang. Hindi ka pa pwede. Hindi ka member na sa koro. 12 years old ka lang. Hintay mag-aral ka muna at tapusin mo muna pinag-aralan mo at mag-asawa ka sa loob ng 50 anyos. <laughs> Take care of yourself properly. Don't compare yourself to other. Huwag kang maingit sa iba. Nakita mo, maganda ang boses niya. Kumakanta. Eh, gusto mo rin kumanta ka rin dito. Eh, hindi naman pwede kang kumanta eh. Iba naman ang skill mo. Iba naman yung katangian mo. Ang binibigay naman sa'yo, ang binigay sa'yo ng Panginoon, ay ikaw, eh, magsilbi. Ay, mag, 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 mag-share ka ng salita ng Panginoon. Huwag kang maingit sa iba. Everyone, na, lahat tayo, binigyan tayo ng katangian ng Panginoon. At yun ay dapat nating gamitin. Huwag kayo maingit sa iba. In order to live your life you want to be or meaningful, find your purpose in your life. Ano bang purpose ng, pamu- ang, ng buhay mo? Stay focused on what you want in your life. Kailangan nakapokus ka. No? Nakapokus ka sa, sa gusto mo, sa buhay mo. Hindi ka babago-bago ng isipan. Kagaya ng gusto kong kumuha ng career, course, itong gusto ko. Nakita mo si ganito, magandang, uh, magandang kinikita. Lipat ka na naman dito sa course. 
Nakita mo sa'yo, lipat ka lang. Wala ka nang tinapos. Kailangan focus ka. Hindi yung kung anong nakita mo, yun ang gagawin mo. Stay motivated on the way. Pag ikaw ay nalihis ng landas o, o nagkaroon ka ng uh, aberya sa buhay mo, refocus when changes hap- when change happen. Balik ka ulit kung saan ka dapat ilagay, saan ka nilalagay ng Panginoon. So, what is a spiritual lifestyle? Ano ba ito? It involves exploring certain universal themes such as love, compassion, life after death, wisdom, and truth. With the knowledge of some people such as apostles and characters in the Bible, we study their achievement and manifested higher levels of development than the ordinary person. A spiritual lifestyle is more, is more to life than just what people experience in sensory and physical level. That there is something greater that connects all beings to each other and to the universe itself. Kingdom lifestyle means Jesus is the king and the domain. Tama po ba yun? Gets yun. Gets nyo po. He rules, he rules all the affairs in our life. The king is not a dictator. He won't force you to do anything. Meron tayong free will. You have to willingly surrender all to him. Kingdom lifestyle is equivalent to running your race according to the plan of God for our life. Our lifestyle should focus in the life of Jesus Christ. As Paul said in Galatians chapter 2, verse 20, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer who I live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now, the life I now in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Amen. Amen to that. So today, ngayon, we will be talking about kingdom living of lifestyle. Ano bang lifestyle natin when it comes to a kingdom living? And the title of my message for today is about his lifestyle, your lifestyle. Okay. Let us all stand. And as we read the scripture on the screen. Now this is, I say, this is Ephesians chapter 4, verse 17 to 24, ESB version. Now this I say, In the futility in their minds, they are darkened in their understanding, alienated from the light of God because of the what is done. Due to their hardness of heart, they have become callous and have given themselves up to the senses of every kind of unity. But that is not the way you learn Christ. Assuming that you have heard about him and you taught in him as the truth, it is Jesus, to be put off on all self which belong to the former manner of life and could corrupt through deceitful desires and to be renewed in the spirit of your mind and to put of the new self created after the likeness of God in true righteousness and holiness. Amen. Let us pray. Father in heaven, I live up to you to bring the kingdom through us in power. 
I pray that you will work through us to establish your rule in our lives, in our homes, in our, in our church, and in our businesses. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Bring the kingdom today in the powerful name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. You may sit down. What do you think about lifestyle? Yung pamumuhay natin. Lifestyle. Lifestyle. Let's break it down. Lifestyle. Let's break it down for just a moment. We, we talk about first the life. Life is a good thing. We all want to cling to life. We want to live to life to the fullest, to the max. Gusto natin mabuhay to the max. For the Christian's perspective, life is a gift of God. And we call to live that life for God para sa Panginoon. Nabubuhay tayo para sa Kanya. Our entire, entire life is meant to be our worship to God. Paul says in Romans chapter 12, verse 1, Therefore, I argue, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. Next, life style. Next is the style. Style, we all want style. Gusto natin may style tayo. Style. If you have style, means you're happening. Something is happening to you. May ganap na nangyayari sa'yo. No? May ganap. You're cool. Tingin sa'yo ng mga tao. Oh, he's cool. She is cool. So, everyone see you as who? See you someone who has it all together. Parang nasa iyo na lahat. Nakikita nila. Kaya sabi, Hey man, I like to be like him. He got his style. Meron siyang dating. Iba ang dating niya. I like him. Yeah. <laughs> I like him. In other words, if you combine these two words into one, life, style, life, style, you got a way of life that is typical of a person, group, or culture. Now, these are all kinds of lifestyle the country club lifestyle, the cool daddy lifestyle, your cool daddy lifestyle, and uptown lifestyle, the artist lifestyle, and the list could go on, on, and on. Your lifestyle is not only express who you are, with whom you are identified, but also your value and believe it. Your value and how you believe it. What interesting is that when you mention the word lifestyle, most of us think about the Christian life. Why is that? Why? A lot of people may change what they believe when they come to faith in Jesus. But they never really change their lifestyle. Aniniwala kayo sa Panginoon. Pero, yung pa rin ang lifestyle natin. Yung pa rin ang kaugalihan natin. Yung pa rin ang ginagawa natin. That's it. 
who they are, how they live, and what they do. There are two things required to enter in the kingdom of God on this earth. A human body and the Holy Spirit. A human body and the Holy Spirit. You can read that in John chapter 3, verse 3 to 5. And to be born again, you need two things. Two things. The Word of God and the Holy Spirit. Amen? In the physical, for a child to be born, two things must meet together. The sperm and the egg. Gets new? Gets new. In the same way, for the new birth or regeneration to take place, two things must come together in the heart of man. The Word of God and the Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. Anytime there is an intimate intimate between the Word of God and the Spirit of God in a human heart, what happened? A new birth of experience is guaranteed. Amen. Amen. The Word of God and the Spirit of God are the spiritual parents of the believer. Amen. What I just explained to you now is the dynamic of the new birth. Now, every believer requires a kingdom lifestyle. Tama po ba? Kailangan natin ng kingdom lifestyle? Tama po. People need to look at us. Nakatingin sila sa iyo. And see what heavens look like by our attitude. Take note. And see what heavens look like by our attitude. By our lifestyle. And by our personality. Tama po ba? Religion produces a system. A kingdom produces a culture. Tama po ba? A lifestyle that is natural. How can we produce a kingdom culture? Letter A. Pakita natin. You must have a lifestyle of righteousness. Amen. Let's, let's read in Romans chapter 14, verse 17. For the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating and drinking, but of righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. So, righteousness is a kingdom lifestyle. Tama po ba? Required in every Christian and believer of Christ. Righteousness can be secured by the attitude that we carry with us in life. In the condition that God will accept, it is the right standing before God. And there is only one way to be righteous, that is to be without sin. When we become a citizen of the kingdom of God, you are not permitted to live in sin anymore. Amen. You are expected to live our life and to do the will of God. Inaasahan tayong mamuhay upang gawin natin ang kalooban ng Panginoon. This is the one way to prove that we have become a citizen in the kingdom of God. We cannot live in immorality. We cannot live in drunkenness. We cannot live in wild parties. 
A kingdom citizen does what is right before God and men. Not because the law says so, but because it is a lifestyle in the kingdom. Amen to that. Next. A lifestyle, we must have a prayer of uh, we must have a lifestyle of prayer. Let's read and look chapter 18 verse 1. And he told them a perfect a, uh, told them a parable to the effect that they ought always to pray and not to lose heart. Prayer is more than a ceremonial. It is a building a relationship with the most important being in the universe, which is God. Our prayer is a life, is observed by our fruitfulness in life. Through prayer, we allow God to work out in our life. We allow God to work out in our godliness. And in our spiritual gift to overflow. Amen. We must be devoted to prayer. Dapat tayo maging tapat sa panalangin. Dapat tayo maging tawag dito uh, maging uh, ugali natin sa panalangin. Prayer is an integral part of our life. Mahalagang bahagi ito sa ating buhay. We as Christian or a believer of God, our life is devoted, devoted to prayer. Bakit? Why? Because God commands it. To be disobedient is foolish and dangerous. Prayer life is reading the word because it takes faith to pray and faith comes for hearing and hearing by the word. Reading the word of God represses us. Reading the word of God revives us. Reading the word of God renew us and preserve our life. It is not how long you pray or how many times do you fast, but how consistent your relationship with God matters most. Amen. Prayer life is beyond the walls. And the effectiveness of your prayer is seen in the life you live before others. Gaya ni Enoch. You remember Enoch? Do you know Enoch? He had a wonderful relationship with God while being a family man. He lived so well, righteous before man and God, and he was taken up by God to be with him forever. David too. He had a wonderful relationship with God. His ability revealed when he encountered Goliath. His humbleness revealed when anointed, when the king Saul attacked him. His obedience revealed when God told Solomon to build the temple. Our stand on faith, our beauty of family life, and our humbleness during God's correction reveal our status of prayer life. Amen. Amen to that. Get you. Let us see. What next? We must have a lifestyle of the world. Salita. Let's read in Matthew chapter 4, verse 4. 
But he answered, It is written, Man, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the, from the mouth of God. The main food of humans needs to eat and to stay alive spiritually in the kingdom of God is the word of God. The word of God must have a place in our life like a newborn babes, babies. Desire a sincere milk of the world that they may grow and should not depart out of our mouth Hindi dapat mawala yan. And the Word of God is the food of the Spirit. We must study the Word of God by reading the Bible. Make it a lifestyle of studying the Word of God through our devotional or through our quiet time. It spiritually nourish and strengthen our Christian life. So, a kingdom life is a life that focus and live according to the word of God. Amen. Amen. Next. We must have a lifestyle of faith. Let's read in Hebrew chapter 10 verse 30. But my righteous one shall live by faith. And if he shrink back, my soul has no pleasure in him. Let's go to Hebrew chapter 11, verse 6. And without faith, it is impossible to please him. For whoever would draw near to God must believe that he exists and the rewards those who seek him. Amen. <clears throat> Alam niyo, Hindi matutuwa ang Diyos kung nais kang manampalataya. Hindi natutuwa ang Diyos kung wala kang pananampalataya sa Kanya. At kung sinong lumapit sa Kanya ay dapat mananiniwala na may Diyos na buhay. Amen? At ginagantipalaan din niya ang mga taong naniniwala sa Kanya. Totoo yan? Impossible things happen to those who expect them to happen. Meron palang ganito, no? Na ang Diyos ay nagtatag na tinatawag na tinatawag na law of expectation. Nakukuha natin ang mga gusto natin makuha. Tama? Nagagawa natin ang mga gusto natin magawa. Nakikita natin ang gusto nating makita. Napupuntahan natin ang mga gusto nating puntahan. We certainly accomplish on what we expect. On what we are going to accomplish. In the Bible, there is this law. Ang tawag dito ay the law of faith. You just have to choose to believe. Believe. Hindi mo magagawa, but God can. Tama? Hindi mo magagawa, but God, God can. Hindi mo kaya, pero kaya ni Lord yan. Para sa iyo. Ikaw, kung ikaw ay naniniwala sa Kanya. Hindi mo kayang mag-aral dahil lumalaki na ang tuition fee. Kaya ni Lord yan. Para sa iyo. Have faith. Hindi mo kayang ituwid ang mga, ang mga ang anak mo. Pihasabihan mo na, hindi mo maituwid siya. Kaya ni Lord iyan para sa iyo. Magtiwala ka. Hindi mo kayang baguhin ang ginagawa ng asawa mo? Yung ugali niya? Kaya ni Lord iyan? 
Have faith. Kaya yan. Walang imposible sa kanya. Hindi mo kaya ang trabaho mo. Napakahirap. Ang daming trabaho. Kaya ni Lord yan. Magtiwala ka, kapatid. Kaya niya yan. You must know that God builds your faith. Amen. And my faith by what? By tasting it. He builds our faith by putting it to the test. And by trying it. Faith is like a muscle. When it is stretched and it's pulled, then it develops. When you test your muscles against weight, then your muscles develop. And your faith develops as it is tested. Para malaman mo that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. Tama? James chapter 1 verse 3 yan. At ang layunin ng pagsubok ay magpapatibay sa buhay natin. Di ba? Kung, kung di ka susubukan ng Panginoon, hindi titibay ang, 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 ang iyong pamumuhay. At sa pananampalataya sa Diyos, ay dapat manatili. Matured and complete. May sapat na pag-iisip at walang pagkukulang. Amen. Amen. Panglima, we must have a lifestyle of soul winning. Evangelism. Di po ba? Soul winning. Evangelism yan. Let's read in Matthew chapter 24 verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom will be proclaimed throughout the whole world as a testimony to all nations and then the end will come. This is another lifestyle of the kingdom is soul winning. Soul winning or evangelism is for every Christian or believer of Christ. Meron tayong role dito para gawin. And God wants all men to be saved. Therefore, He has commanded us to preach the gospel of the kingdom of God in all nations. Soul winning is not only the pastor's job. Hindi la para sa pastor yan. It is the duty of every citizen like you of the kingdom of God. Ang evangelism may ibig sabihin, lalabas tayo. Tama? And share the word of God. Go deeper. Go deeper. Hindi lang sa paligid. Go deeper. Nandoon ang mga taong nangangailangan ng pagkalinga. Nandoon ang mga taong nauuhaw sa Panginoon. Kaya kailangan sa labas. Ang problema, ang iba, nag evangelize sa loob ng simbahan. Bakit ganun? Kailangan nasa labas kayo ng simbahan. Humayo kayo, lumabas kayo, mag-evangelize nyo, puntahan nyo mga taong nangangailangan. Go deeper. Go deeper. Huwag dito sa simbahan. Maraming taong nangangailangan sa inyo sa labas ng simbahan. And one sign that you have become a citizen of the kingdom of God is when you have passion to win soul for Jesus Christ. The second greatest joy you can experience is the winning of a soul if you don't preach the gospel of the kingdom and the reality of the kingdom is not yet established in your heart. Amen. Amen. Next, we must have a lifestyle of positive impact and influence. Let's read on Matthew chapter 5, verse 13 to 14. If you, have, if you are the salt of the earth, but if the salt has lost its taste, how shall 
its all saltiness be restored, it is no longer good to anything except to be thrown out and trampled other people's feet. So you are the light of the world. We are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. The kingdom of God is the kingdom of impact and positive influence. Kailangan may impact ka. Therefore, the believer is deployed as a salt and, be, and, and light of this sinful and dark world. Our purpose of the earth to preserve this world from corruption. We are here to light up the world. A Christian or believer of Christ is not born again just to go to heaven. He is born again to live on the earth and to make this world a better place to live. Amen. We are to imitate the glory and beauty of heaven here on earth. Wherever we find ourselves in our business, in our career, in, in the office and in the neighborhood. Shine the light. Be a good example. That's the kingdom lifestyle. At school, don't engage in exam malpractice. Be an example of a true light that others can follow. Amen. Next, we must have a lifestyle of giving. In Luke chapter 6, verse 38, give, it, it will be given to you. Good measure and press down, shaken together, running over will be put into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured back to you. This is another significant kingdom lifestyle required in every Christian or believer in Christ. is giving. Giving. God is a greatest giver, an extravagant giver, because he gave his only son to die for our sin, for our sin. Therefore, we are expected as kingdom citizens to imitate that culture, the nature of giving. For us, we don't give to show up. We don't give to show up. We don't give to receive back or to receive back. God is testing our faith with our money and finances. Yes po, mga kapatid? With our money and finances, sinusubok tayo ng Diyos sa ating kaperahan sa mga tinatanggap natin. Our, the blessings that we have received, ang pera o possession ang madaling makapagsabi kung ano ang ating karakter. At gaano tayo kalalim sa ating pagsunod sa Panginoon Heso Kristo? Give generosity and cheerfully. We can read that in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 6 to 8. Maalwal, maginhawa, at masayang nagbibigay. Matapat ka ba kay Lord? Kapatid, matapat ka ba kay Lord? Ang palagi mo siyang, o palagi mo siyang pinagdududahan sa pagbibigay. May doubt ka ba sa kanya? Alam niyo, alam niyo po bang nasa Malachi chapter 3 verse 10, ang sabi dito, it is a taste of our faith and taste of God's faithfulness in His word. Nung sabihin ni Lord, subukan ninyo ako sa bagay na ito. Kung hindi ko, kung hindi ko, buksan ang bintana ng langit at ibuhos ko sa inyo ang masaganang pagpapala. Try me now on this, says the Lord of hosts. If I will not open for you the windows of heaven, and pour out for your such blessing that there will not be room enough to receive it. Meron po bang direct na kognayan 
Ang ating pera sa spiritual, meron po ba? Ang sagot po ay meron po. Kapatid, meron pong meron po. Basahin natin ang Luke chapter 16 verse 11. Ang sabi rito po, If then you have not been faithful in the unrighteous wealth, who will entrust to you the truth, the true riches? Kung, kaya kung hindi kayo matangkakatiwalaan sa mga kayamanan ng mundong ito, sino ang magtitiwala sa inyo na tunay na kayamanan? Sino? Money is a worldly wealth or possession. Pag-aari mo dito sa lupa, maliit man yan o malaki. Spiritually is our relationship with our God. Things in heaven. It also produce treasure in heaven. Wealth in heaven. Ang ito ang tunay na kayamanan. In other words, kung hindi tayo mapagkakatiwalaan ng kayamanan sa lupa, pera dito sa lupa, paano tayo mapagkakatiwalaan ng kayamanan sa langit? Papano? Nandun pa man ang tunay na kayamanan. So, giving is our natural lifestyle as a Christian or a believer of Christ. Amen. Amen po. Maliwanag po yun. Maliwanag po. Susunod. We must have lifestyle of thanksgiving. Basahin po natin ang 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 18. Give thanks in all circumstances. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Thanksgiving define as an expression of gratitude. This is another significant of thanksgiving lifestyle of the Christian or believer in Christ. It is good to make a habit of thanksgiving God. Nagpapasalamat tayo sa lahat ng bagay na mabuti ang mga at mga pagsubok natin sa buhay. It shows Him the courtesy, courtesy that our thanks and faith This is the act of our worship and faith to Him. It is a culture in the kingdom to be thankful and grateful to God in everything we have received. Amen. Amen. Conclusion na po tayo. Tanong, are you satisfied to be a member of this church? Are you? Satisfied po kayo? Members work on emotions. Citizens work on righteousness. There is no such thing as being a member of the nation. You can only be a citizen of the country. Tama po? Church membership doesn't exist in the Bible. You must be a citizen of the kingdom of God to learn, to explore, to understand and operate the kingdom of lifestyle. Mga kapatid, it is not too late to get it right. Receive grace to enter the kingdom of God today in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let us all stand for the closing prayer. <clears throat> Our Father in heaven, we pray before you to draw near to you in worship, all power and authority belong to you. And we thank you that you have chosen to establish a kingdom. Your love and mercy. You choose to bring all the be- who believe in your kingdom. We are so thankful and gladly embrace you. As our, as our Lord and our King, Lord, we pray that your reign may be seen more clearly in our lives. Forgive us for our shortcomings which we have given room to sins. In our, li- in our lives, 
that have no place in your kingdom. May the truth of your word sanctify us today. Father, we pray for the spread of the gospel in, in, in our world. There are people who are thirsty of your love, are still outside of your kingdom. Bring them in your mercy into the house of prayer and bring them for the kingdom from the kingdom of darkness as we pray for the day when Christ will return. As long to see your son, our King Jesus, until the day when the kingdom of this world will become the kingdom of our Lord, of our Lord and of his Christ. And he shall reign forever and ever. Come, Lord Jesus of Nazareth, judge the world in righteousness. Come and bring us safely into your presence to live under the blessing of your rule for your kingdom come. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to God. Amen.